Uh, former UFC champion Ronda Rousey says she thought about killing herself in the immediate aftermath of her knockout loss to Holly Holm in November. Rousey, 29, appeared on the Ellen DeGeneres show on Tuesday and spoke openly about her loss at UFC 193 in Melbourne, Australia. The championship fight ended when Rousey went down in a highlight reel knockout after a kick to the head from home. Rousey was transported to a local hospital afterward. Here's a quote from Ronda Rousey. She says, honestly, my thought in the medical room, I was sitting in the corner and I was like, what am I? I'm any more I'm anymore if I'm not this. What am I anymore if I'm not this? Get it right, Dougie. Rousey said, literally sitting there thinking about killing myself in that exact second. I'm like, I'm nothing. What do I do anymore? No one gives a ish. She, she said the word, S-H-I, you know, uh, about me anymore with this. Now, l- let me say this. This is actually two different conversations. And the Puppet Factory, ESPN, was actually commenting on this because... What's her name? Uh, Ramona uh, Melbourne, or Ramona Shelbourne, actually did an interview with her and talked about, you know, how Ronda Rousey was so down. There's two parts to this, and then this is probably, <laughs> this is probably one of the reasons why your boy isn't on terrestrial radio right now, and, and it's probably one of the reasons why I should be. <laughs> yeah. But let me say this: you see the title of today's show. I, I want to make sure that I separate the two different conversations that I'm about to have. The first combination conversation is about mental health. And clearly, if you're thinking about killing yourself, this is all I could think about when I'm watching this whole thing on TV yesterday. Clearly, if you're thinking about killing yourself after you lose a fight, in effect, from a sporting event, you have a real problem. I mean, that's clinical. That's, that's a medical issue, a medical condition, and she's talked about it. Um, it's well chronicled and documented that her father actually committed suicide. That's a serious, serious thing. And the fact that the first thing that comes to your mind after a setback, I mean, it's a big setback, <laughs> okay? The first thing that comes to your mind in a setback is to kill yourself. You have real issues. She definitely needs to seek help. That being said, Ronda Rousey talked cash-ish and got her ass kicked. <laughs> And I said this before after the fight. I said this before after the fight. In America, when you talk cash-ish and you get your ass kicked, okay, in America, we clown you. That's what we do in America. So I don't know where this whole pity party thing, and if you saw the story in the, in the comments by Ramona Shelbourne, she talked uh, so with, with such empathy, and, and it was almost like a big-ass pity party. And I'm saying to myself, did y'all not forget how this chick talked all this trash before the fight? Do y'all forget? I mean, have y'all forgot about that? And it's crazy how much they try to, you know, uh, to, to shape the story and to kind of shape our emotions. And once again, I love ESPN. Obviously, they're the worldwide leader. That, that, that's, a, that's a true uh, phrase in, in its essence. I, I do that. Obviously, I worked with them for a couple of years, and they do a lot of great things. But it's, it's crazy how they try to shape the story and our emotions. No! No! I'm not going to sit back here and have pity for Ronda Rousey because before the fight, she talked all the trash in the world. I mean, she really disrespected Holly Holm to the effect that she really dismissed the whole notion that Holly Holm would have a chance in this fight. And because you got your ass kicked and you got your feelings hurt, we're supposed to have this pity party. Man, F Ronda Rousey. <laughs> Get out of here. Miss me with that. Once again, and this is probably why your boy ain't on big time radio right now. Because, you know, I understand the sensitive side about it. And I talked about it. The fact that I think she needs to get mental health. But I'm not sensitive. And everybody on TV wanting us to cry, you know, tears for this chick. Are you kidding me? No. So you know what? In sports, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. We got to go to a break here. In sports, this is kind of like this imaginary barometer based on how much trash you talk and how bad you feel after the fact after you lost. Okay? So if you talk a lot of trash and you lose, then you're going to feel very, very bad. If you talk a little bit of trash, you're not going to feel that bad. You know? But you talked Orca Big King Kong-ish before this fight. 
And because you got your ass kicked once again, we as sports fans are supposed to feel sorry for you? Nah, nah, I just don't, I'm not going to buy to that at all. I'm just not going to buy to that at all. Yeah. So if you're new to the Doug Stewart Show, you might be alarmed right now because I'm saying something totally different than the rest of America. But guess what? This is what we do around here. We give you real takes, okay? And a real take is that you can't talk a lot of trash and expect pity. You can't do it. Or you're not going to get that here. You're not going to get that here. Cam Newton talked a lot of trash. He was disappointed. As a matter of fact, he walked off the stage from questioning in the post-game press conference. America ain't feeling sad for him. What? And I hate to even bring up Cam, but I just thought about it. It's a good comparison. We we didn't feel sorry for Cam. I didn't hear all of this pity party on radio and TV about Cam. He was disappointed. He lost a big fight. He lost a big ass fight. The Super Bowl. He got destroyed. He got beat up. And in 2016, I just thought about this. In 2016, we always talk about equality for women. Okay? We didn't feel sorry for Cam. Why the hell we feel sorry for, for Ronda Rousey? Man, miss me with that. Don't go away. Keep it locked. This is the Doug Stewart Show.